Hello everyone, thanks again for joining. Appreciate you guys coming by. Today I'd like to talk about design, especially with watercolor painting. Guys, I uh, just want to do a really super quick um, uh, idea on designing your paintings when you're going to go outdoors and uh, sketch a scene and then watercolor paint or whether you're working in the studio from a photograph. Uh, anything uh, when you're uh, working with your uh, your painting, you're, you're automatically, you're designing it, you're creating it and it's just um, a, a great thing I learned um, was that balance is a very important part of your your creative process when you're designing a um, sketching and designing your painting and your your work. So I'd like to just do a quick idea or two. Okay, I'm going to take a sketch some paper here. to get an idea. Put some tape down. And then do a little trimming here. Trim a couple pieces of paper here. This is just printer paper. Okay, so for balance, I think it's, you might find when you look at a painting, sometimes you'll be aware of balance in a painting. So if we were just going to take a simple idea like a seesaw, and we had some boxes on the seesaw, and we'd say the seesaw is on the ground, that would look pretty balanced as far as the weight of the boxes on the seesaw, we can make them people too. So if we have two people there, and then we have maybe a maybe two children and an older uh, an, an adult on the, that would feel pretty balanced. Whereas if we had, obviously just. just one person on the seesaw that would be out of balance and and we we'd feel like that if this was a painting we'd feel like the painting is sort of tipping so then if we added another person there on the seesaw then it would feel more balanced so the idea of balance is pretty crucial in a painting for it to look really good um, Let's say I'm doing a shore scene. We'll get a little paint, just as a quick idea. Okay, we'll use some. Okay, I'm going to turn up the music here, guys, and just uh, kind of show you how balance um, would work if I'm doing a painting and I'm trying to design it and say how to myself how can I make this painting look a little more pleasing to the eye for the person who might be um, viewing my painting or gonna it's gonna purchase someone might purchase a painting or say I need you to create me a painting and I want to make sure it's balanced and looks good this is this is what I might do I might carefully think about it when I'm designing it so I'll start off in this painting with with something that might look a little bit out of balance and not look as pleasing to the eye and then I'll adjust it a little bit as I'm painting it to make it look more pleasing and more balanced. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll just finish up with this quick sketch.